This shit's hot. Good morning, people. What's up? I don't know what this video is, okay? I had an urge to film this. The last time I had an urge like this, the video went viral. Not because it was an entertaining piece of content, just because it was straight facts, okay? People need to wake up. Today's another one of them days. I'm just gonna get right into it, okay? Cheat days. Cheat days. Views. Viral videos. Cheat days is the way forward. You can get shredded. Cheat days. Lads, this video has no structure, no script. I'm just speaking this because I feel like someone needs to say something, man. Lads, ladies, cheat day should not exist, okay? A cheat day is not healthy. I don't know whether you are someone who already subconsciously knows this, but just wants to back it out of your mind and just say, fuck that shit, I like me some pizza. But you need to hear this, okay? I've been doing this shit since I'm 16, 15 even. I've bulked cut more times than I can imagine. When I was 16, I was bulking every two months and cutting the other two months. I don't know what I was doing, okay? But cheat days was a staple in my cutting diet. Then it went to cheat meals and now it's nothing, okay? If I go out and eat a cheat meal, it's just because I'm on a cut and I haven't been spending time with my girl and I want to bring her out for a meal. But I don't need it. I don't crave it. You shouldn't crave it, okay? Okay, let's bring it back. I know for a fact a lot of other young lifters, a cheat meal and a cheat day is a part of a cut, which just screams to me an eating disorder. Whether you don't have it right now, you're gonna have it. Okay, if you if you teach your body eat healthy for six days and I can fill you with absolute shit on the seventh day, that's gonna become second nature. Your body's gonna crave that when you stop doing that. Nobody realizes that. We see people make cheat day videos on YouTube, cheat meal videos, all that shit, but I guarantee you, a lot of them I know and they're experienced lifters, and I guarantee you, if it wasn't for just making that piece of content, they wouldn't have a cheat meal, they wouldn't have a cheat day, they would fit foods they like into a diet, and scrap that idea altogether, okay? Experienced lifters don't deal with this shit as much as young lifters, okay? We all know that you don't need a cheat meal. We've all either been through a prep or a heavy cut and learned what it feels like to have a, even a slight eating disorder, in my case, a bad eating disorder, where when you eat that cheat meal, you don't want to stop. If, you, if you're a young lifter and you felt that, where you've had the cheat meal or the cheat day and you can't stop, you need to fix some shit, man. This isn't healthy. This industry is supposed to promote health and fitness. That is the most unhealthy thing for your body. Teaching your body that that's how life should be. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. I just needed to make this video, okay? If you ever see me do a cheat day video, it's just for views. I don't need it. If I'm ever eating a cheat meal, just know there's a reason for it. Also know that I'm not craving it, okay? If, if I do get like that, I know for a fact, cut it out. Make a diet that I can eat 365 days a year if needs be. I don't need this shit, okay? You need to scrap these two words, cheat days and cheat meals. You need to get them out of your head, okay? That is not health and fitness. That is not the way forward in bodybuilding. Get rid of it. This shit should be a lifestyle. If you're on a cut, change your lifestyle accordingly to get to where you want to be in life. Don't just fast track yourself and come out on the other end with an awful eating disorder and a bad mental health because that shit is what it leads to, okay? The only thing that makes you feel better after having a cheat meal is knowing you're going to eat healthy the next day. After that cheat meal or the cheat day, tell me you feel good about yourself. Tell me you feel happy. Tell me you don't feel regret. Tell me you don't feel slightly depressed. Like, snap out of it, people. Again, there's no script to this video. I don't know where I'm going with it. I just need to say it, man. I just, <sighs> like the last time I felt this bad about needing to say something, I did, and it fucking hit home with a lot of people, man. Look, I want experienced lifters to carry on what I'm saying in the comments, okay? Anything I've left out, I just want this to be the starting point of a conversation. I want all my experienced lifters and people who have dealt with slight eating disorders to just drop shit in the comments, man. We need to teach these young lifters. I know I'm still a young lifter myself, but luckily enough, I've learned now and not later on in life when I'm like 30 years old and I've done eight preps. Luckily enough, I've copped on now just because there's information out there that allowed me to cop on right now and I want this to be another piece of that information. I want this to be another piece of information that people can watch and maybe not even now change shit, but just subconsciously know and they will change later on with where they're going. If you love a cheat day and you can't live without it, you can't just go cold turkey and, but just I want you to know this shit. You don't need that stuff, man. Get rid of cheat days, cheat meals. Get rid of it, man. Again, experienced lifters, people who agree with me on this, uh, drop some mad information in the comments. Just carry on this message and I don't know, man, because it will, someone who needs to see this will see it. They will. I know 16-year-old me, if I had to watch this video and just had someone talk to me like a normal human and say, snap the fuck out of it, I probably would. I don't know. Again, I don't know why I was making this video. Just felt the urge to make it. Fuck it. I'm going to upload it, okay? Appreciate you watching. Drop the video a like. Get you a ghost mug. I'm out this bitch.